Welcome to IBC 2025. This year we bring together our global media, technology and entertainment clients showcasing their groundbreaking innovations right here in Amsterdam. Well, it's day three here at IBC and I'm delighted to join Sebastian at Multidine. Hi, you're very welcome. How's it going so far? Oh, it, it's been great. It's a great show. It's been very busy the first two days. Extremely busy with customers visiting our booth to see what's new and how we're progressing into new workflows. So it's yeah. very exciting days. Busy is good. Busy is good. Absolutely. Talk to me about Multidine. What do you do? Where are you positioned in the market, Sebastian? So Multidyne has been known for many years as a fiber transport company. So we pretty much uh, develop fiber optics, uh, transceivers, camera back attachables, but not limited to, but we specialize in moving video over fiber. But through many years being in a business, we start slowly transitioning to a different workflows and also to develop a product that can solve other problems, including 2110 as you know, it's a very, a popular topic these days and we can see the market uh, transitioning and pushing forward at 2110 after COVID days are behind us. Now we can really start accelerate into the 2110 uh, workflows. Let's talk general trends in the market then. What are you seeing? So of course, uh, when we look at the market overall, uh, I think the first trend is, as I already mentioned, it's transition, transition to 2110. Yeah. So we can see a lot of countries that already, like first adopters, they move quickly into 2110, but there is still a lot of many parts of the world that they are still using traditional SDI. So the high demand for the hybrid uh, equipment that can solve some issues uh, with the customers who are still using the legacy equipment but would like to use 2110 uh, workflows it's uh, right now uh, for us it's a big uh, big trend and big push uh, that we are as a multi-dine focusing on so that's our kind of a focus those days but it's not limited to of course the cloud it's a big thing so we also trying to see how our equipment can be as a part of those uh, big uh, transition to cloud how we can play because you have to acquire those signals at some point before it goes on the cloud so i think we have a lot of opportunities and we're focusing on the cloud as well and and SDI 12G, it's, it's still alive, it's still uh, very important uh, for, for the market. So our focus is uh, also on continue developing the traditional 12G SDI products and enable those uh, with uh, different platforms and dif different equipment that uh, we have at uh, Multidine. So it's helping with that transition, it's providing solutions, tailor-made solutions. What are you showcasing uh, at the show? So. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but with the 2110, our, our push uh, toward the 2110 uh, at IBC 2025, we introduce a new crescendo audio monitoring products. Okay. What's different about it? So uh, our legacy products, uh, they were rated for the uh, 3G, so they slowly kind of, uh, we transitioned them, uh, uh, them out, but we have to take the step into the toward, toward the 12G SDI, but also in 2110 uh, in, a, in a play. So we are introducing uh, Crescendo 1RU audio monitor, which is, we believe, a state-of-the-art uh, audio monitor. Uh, which uh, provides 12G SDI uh, for uh, two signals that you can uh, de-embed uh, the, the audio from the video stream. But it's not limited to uh, only. You can also, with optional um, expansion, you can, uh, you can uh, provide Dante, you can do 2110-30, you can do a AES67, and you can also mix a lot of additional uh, audio channels as well uh, with uh, the audio monitor. So this is a new product, and we're very proud of the new innovative uh, look of the product. And are you just launching that this year at the show? Yes, absolutely, yes. We will probably will start delivering the products uh, by the end uh, of this year. Yeah. Uh, so it's the first introduction of the product. Yeah. Uh, so there's a real buzz and excitement about that, presumably with people that are passing by the stand. Yes, absolutely. We had many customers very interested in and would like to, you know, have some uh, some demos and would like to try them, uh, try try them out. You know, like, like I said, it's very intu intuitive uh, user interface. Uh, we always display all the channels on uh, on the uh, on the front. Panel so customers can monitor and see the videos. You have, uh, I mean, the audios. 
Uh, the video you can monitor also with HDMI output that is available on our box. Uh, and the, the most important thing, the audio quality is outstanding. So I really encourage those who ha hasn't had a chance to, chance to come and just visit our booth and see the audio monitor, yeah. to really visit and just listen and play with it because it's really a state-of-art uh, product that we're introducing. So the reaction has been very positive. Yes, absolutely. So we have a lot of good feedback and um, yeah, we're looking forward to start producing and delivering uh, the, the, the product uh, to the market. It's a very exciting time in the industry right yes. now. Are you picking that vibe up? Yes, we do. We do. <laughs> absolutely. And talk to me about the future then, Sebastian. Where do you see it going? So with the future trends, our focus is uh, not only what we talk about 2110, which will continue really investing and developing and trying to spread across our platform, but also to give a lot of flexibility for the customers uh, for our different uh, product lines. So I think our last year we introduced uh, the first 2110 product, which, which was the Open Gear uh, MDOC 6060 uh, gateway card. So that was that was last year. That was the last, last yeah. year. Yeah. And how was that received? How's that been going? So uh, response was pr very good because it it supports 3G, 12G, and JPEG access. So it's a lot of excitement about that, and of course it fits into Open Gear uh, ROS uh, frame with full dashboard uh, support for the moni monitoring and control. Yeah. But. Uh, what that enable us is to take that platform and also spread uh, across some uh, other products. So, as an example, our Silverback uh, 5 camera back attachable uh, transceiver. Uh, we are now capable of taking those cards and uh, putting them into the base station, which we have a two slots for open gear cards which will give a customer a hybrid uh, type of the product. So you can run still traditional SDI and you can get your output from the base station, but on the top of that you have the gateways that you can immediately from the base station go to the network and uh, move all the video signals uh, to 2110 uh, workflow, which is, which is really a thing that we are looking to enable other platforms to be cross-compatible, uh, to, to be able not only serve as the R world, but also 2110, because it's, I think it's very important and market is very demanding. Yeah. Well, listen, exciting times ahead, and uh, I look forward to catching up with you. Yeah. <coughs> like, crew. Exciting times ahead, and uh, thank you so much for your time today, and good luck with the future. Well, thank you very much. Looking forward to it. <laughs> okay, thank you.